I've almost supped. Why have you left the chamber? Was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Hath it slept since? And wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so freely? From this time such I account thy love. Art thou afeard to be the same in thine own act and valor as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteemst the ornament of life and live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I would like the poor cat of the adage? What beast was then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. Nor time, nor place did then adhere, and yet you would make both. They have made themselves, and that their fitness now does unmake you. I have given suck, and know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from its boneless gums and dashed the brains out, had I so sworn as you have done to this. If we should fail, screw your courage to the sticking place and will not fail. When Duncan is asleep, whereto the rather shall his day's hard journey soundly invite him. His two chamberlains will I, with wine and wassail, so convince that memory, the warder of the brain, shall be a fume, and the receipt of reason a limbeck only. When in swinish sleep their drenched natures lie as in a death, what cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon his spongy officers? who shall bear the guilt of our great quell.